Number 13. Suppose you have an unknown clear substance immersed in water and you wish to identify it by finding its index of refraction. You arrange to have a beam of light entered at an angle of 45 degrees and you observe the angle of refraction to be 40.3. What is the index of refraction and the likely identity? All right, so just pretend here for two seconds, right, that you have, you got water. I don't, you know, it's a little confusing. You got a container of water and pretend you just have, I don't know, like some kind of a, a substance here or something, okay? So you arrange a light beam, all right, to enter this, well, let's not do this. Let's do it like this. Let's not do a circle because that, that creates its own complications. Um, let's pretend you have, you arrange a light beam, all right, to enter this unknown substance here at an angle of 45 degrees relative to the normal, okay? So in other words, this is 45. And you then observe that the refracted ray now is going to be a 40.3. Now, refracted rays, all these angles are always in reference to the normal, unless stated otherwise. So this angle in here is going to be 40.3. All right. Now the thing is, this light ray here, initially, okay, is in water. And this is in some unknown substance. So what we can do in order to solve this is use Snell's law. This says that the index of refraction in medium 1 multiplied by the sine of the angle between the ray and the normal uh, in medium 1 will equal the whole thing symmetrically for two, okay? So the red is two in this case, and the, and the blue is one. So we're dealing with water, okay? So the index of refraction here of water is 1.333. You can look that up on the table. Times the sine of that angle of, ref uh, angle of incidence, technically, is 45. The N2 is what we're solving for, and then multiply that then by the sine of the refracted ray, 40.3, okay? And now all we need to do is just then calculate, right? So N2 here will be equal to, multiply the left-hand side, 1.333 times the sine of 45, then divide that then by the sine of 40.3. And it comes out to be about 1.56, 1. Point, oh, excuse me, 1.457, or 1. Point, you know, 1.46, all right? So now what we gotta do is we gotta go look this up on the table. All right, so we go to the table, 1.457, right? And what do you think it is? Well, I guess maybe 1.4, let's see, quartz looks pretty close. 1.457, do we see anything closer? 1.45, not really, right? So I guess 1.45, yeah, I guess it'll be quartz, fused quartz, okay? Quartz, fused. There you go, guys, thanks for tuning in. All right, appreciate it very much. Hope this helps, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.